What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. Yes, I almost said per Pearl or something like that. <laughs> Anywho, in our last episode, we went through a lot, you know, got to use a Rock Smash, got to see an evolution and all that stuff, and now we're here in Florama Town. Now, there is something very, very important that you guys need to see. We are in a remix of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Nintendo Switch. You know that they're always going to have something. Something very special for you, and here it is. We're going to walk straight to it. So, if you guys notice this old couple right here, they're just going to be standing around. You know, they're having a nice time because it's Florama Town. They get to smell the nice flowers, this and that. Somehow, the flowers do not get crushed because, well, you know, I guess flowers are immortal right here. So, if you talk to these individuals, they're going to be saying this. Oh, you there. And I gathered you've seen the Wishing Star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. And just like that, we get ourselves the mythical Pokemon, Jirachi. Look at that, Jirachi. Looking pretty cool. I am not going to give it a nickname just yet because, well, you know, it is what it is. Now, it's going to be added to my party. The only reason I have it in my party is because, well, you know, I kind of want to show you guys what's going on. So, here it is, Elixir. I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures uh, together. Huh. Now, if you talk to his, uh, his wife, she's going to be like, why, hello there. It looks like you've played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? And we've obtained Mew. Look at that, guys. And, uh, well, yeah, we are going to nickname this guy because you guys already know. I nicknamed him before, so let's go right ahead and let's go with uh, this nickname right here. If you guys don't remember, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I did nickname this Pokemon. Uh, pretty pretty uh, weird nickname because, uh, I don't know, it's just me. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello, or say hello again to Mew De Uno, or Mew, for, Mew One. So he has been added to our Pokedex. I'm sure it will be good partner for you. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these two mythical Pokemon. Now, you guys have already noticed that it's uh, their Pokedex entries have not been entered, and that is because, well... Right now, we don't have no national deck. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Jirachi first. So, here's Jirachi, the Steel and Psychic type Pokemon. If you guys can't tell, the Pokedex number is unknown right now because, well, no national decks. As you can see, this Pokemon is pretty timid by nature. Level 5, Florama Town, and it loves sweet food. And, well, look at this. Serene Grace is its ability. Boosts the likelihood of additional effects occurring when attacking. Now... The Muse is Confusion and Wish. This Pokemon is a pretty good Pokemon. The typing is pretty cool. It's Steel and Psychic. Kind of makes you wonder. Now, Mew de Uno. The mythical Pokemon Mew de Uno. Level 1 Psychic type Pokemon. You guys already know that you can teach this guy any move ever created. So you guys don't have to worry about like wasting a move here and there. This guy can learn it all. It was This Pokemon's pretty quiet. Level 1. Loves dry food. And, well... The ability is synchronized. The attacker will receive the same status condition if it inflicts a burn, poison, or paralysis to this Pokemon. Now, it only has two moves so far, but like I said, this Pokemon can learn every single TM, so you don't have to worry. Now, normally, I would want to use one of these two Pokemon, and I'm kind of thinking about it, uh, but as of right now, I'm just going to put them back into the PC. I know some of you guys are just going to be like, Hey, Draven, come on, use one of these guys. Maybe use Mew de Uno because, you know, when you use Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, you've used them for, like, maybe 30% of the walkthrough. You just let them leveled up. We'll see what happens later on, guys. Like I said, all my Pokemon, like, all the Pokemon that I caught right here, I've pretty much nicknamed because, you know, I, I will be evolving them. I will be training them. I got Pokemon uh, uh, or uh, Shining Pearl, so you know it's not going. It's not like I'm not trying or anything, but yes, we will be trying something right here. So again, Jirachi and Mew, you can actually get in this in this game right here, just in case you have played Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here, and let's talk to this lady. Do you know about Grace uh, Gr Gracidia Flowers? They're given to, as boutiques to express feelings of gratitude. It's an endearing pr a tradition around these parts. Hmm. All right, let's go inside right here. You know, we we all love our free stuff, guys. Okay, so let's see. Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Yes. Yes, you agree. Here are some TM for you, and we get ourselves 
DM88, which I would assume is Pluck, right? Right? Yeah, it's Pluck. Okay, yes, it's Pluck. Okay. And let's talk to this lady right here. Florama Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it because it's such a sad place. Oh. Nothing, or, but nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Isn't that strange and wonderful? Hmm. That could be, you know, leading into some kind of something. I don't know. I don't know. And then uh, I wanted to go smell some, or get some flowers from Florama Meadow, but some Team Galactic guys in a snazzy outfit came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up some flowers because, you know, you know, we, we, we're like that. We like to grab different kinds of uh, flowers and then never plant them ever again. So there we go. Grab that. And let's talk to this. Berries give a profoundly interesting, or, or berries trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. Bear great berries. Now, if you go inside the building right here, let's go ahead and talk to whoever can give us a pail or something. Let's see. Trainer, please ta please water berries using the spray duck watering can. And yes, look at this. We get ourselves a spray duck uh, watering can. And use that spray duck to water the soil where you've planted berries. You should also water berry plants while they are growing. Okay. And uh, let's see. They're not going to give us anything. Oh, yeah. She's going to give us a Pekka Pecha Pekka Berry. Don't know what it is. And... Yeah, she can give you berries every single day, so dude, that's pretty cool. Uh, hello, would you like to exchange berries for some stickers? Yes, I do, and uh, huh, I don't necessarily have a lot of berries, so we're just gonna come. We're gonna have to come back to that. So, good stuff, Nintendo. Good stuff. Way to uh, way to pull my arm like that. Okay, so that is that. Now we're gonna we're gonna go inside this house right here now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? Talk to this guy. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they are attracted to sweet honey. That is true. Vespa Queen comes to mind. Pokemon must have a cute sense of smell. They can smell the aroma of honey from a very far away. Okay. Alrighty, so that that right there is pretty cool. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, see what the whole Hubba uh, is all about. Now, you see these two Team Galactic jerks are right here. Aren't we Team Galactic? We're a, uh, and we're saying uh, standing around among flowers. This doesn't uh, seem that all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass that Pokemon are so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Hmm. Okay, so I do not know what's going on. And I got drawn by the sweet honey here. Seriously, what... Wait, what am I? A Pokemon or something? Hmm, honey. Okay, so that situation won't... They, yeah, it's not going to occur or anything. So we're going to have to go outside and go in straight into Route 205. And, yes, we're going to be picking up some berries without ever giving berries back. And, well, that's... No, I don't want to plant a berry just yet. And here we go, another berry. Yeah, buddy. And, well, let's see. There's a young lady right here, and she's like, Help, help, trainer! Please, can you get my papa back for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let them allow me in. Huh. Look at that. Space aliens. <laughs> okay. I get you. Okay, so let's see. How do we get to the... Oh, there it is. The Valley Windworks right here. And there is a Pokeball right there. I kind of want to grab that first. Yes, we got ourselves a potion. Okay, so... Go ahead and talk to this individual right here. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks! I got orders to keep anyone uh, out if they don't, uh, if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're not. You're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, let's do this. So we are gonna be uh, going up against a Galactic Grunt right here. He's gonna be coming out with his, uh, you know, his Glamyow. Okay, Infernomon ready to go. Okay, so let's go with the Mach Punch because, uh, yeah, I think Glam out. Is it a dark type Pokemon? Yes, it is. Look at that. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and well, just like that, we have defeated the Galactic Grunt, and he's just like, yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. Yeah, you got yourself a Pussycat, so. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. 
But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with the bow in my work ski. That's right, the other work ski is not here. Hmm. My cohorts in the flower patch have only uh, the other one. <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Now, we can't go in there just yet. We're going to have to go all the way back to the Valley Windworks or the, the flower area and actually get the other key, which is good. You know, we kind of need that right now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and battle some Pokemon. Let's, let's try and evolve some of our Pokemon, you know? Let's do that. And here we are in this area right here. Now, I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's just take that away. Let's go straight to a Pokemon right here. Let's, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. You know what? Let's go with my two strongest Pokemon right here. Everybody can just mooch off our, our winnings. And, well, enough arguing. Hand over the sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hmm. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We can't have that brat run off to get help. The solution is simple. We must ensure that brat stays quiet. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. We're going up against our good old buddies at Team Galactic. Oh wow, it's not a double battle, huh? Okay, never mind. Let's get it. So here we go, Infernomon ready to just destroy this Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, Wurmple is no more. Wurmple is no more in, um, let's see, he's coming out with a Silcoon right here. Okay, alrighty, so let's go, uh, do this. Just burst it up to, to flames. Now, again, guys, off-screen, I will be capturing some extra Pokemon that, you know, I've been looking at and all that stuff. That way, you know, we keep the collection going, and would you look at that, Rosemont grows to level 14, which is great. And this is why I'm going to be stuck as a grunt forever. Mm -hmm. Now... Let's see. This is so lame. They're gonna go. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort was weakened gives you the gives me the edge. Yeah, think? Are you sure? You're positive. Okay, so here we go. Going up against another, uh, you know, another one of these uh, individuals. And well, here we have Zubat. And well, Infernomon ready to go. Take a, you know just to take it down right here. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. And Ember attack. Ooh, nearly takes Zubat away. So here we go with an Astonish. And that right there is uh, something. Okay, so let's go straight for an Ember attack. And there we go, Zubat is no more. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And uh, Zubat, our Zubat grows to a level 11. And we have defeated a Team Galactic Runt, just like that, alrighty. Okay, cool. This rat's tough! Like, really, really tough! Tougher than I could put into words, and I know that a lot of words. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, huh, okay. Oh! What's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a work ski. It must, uh, it must be for the Valley Windworks. It's, it's of no use for me. Uh, you may have it as well. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. We get ourselves the work ski. Thank you, you, are sh you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. Uh, you saw how they were dressed. What they were saying, it didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take these as my thanks? And yes, we get ourselves a jar of honey, which we can slab on some tree. If you slather the honey on this uh, sweet-smelling tree, it might attract a Pokemon. Now, it's very easy to find these trees, guys. Trees are golden. That's it. Uh, they kind of look like this. You see? They kind of look like that. Okay? So it's not so bad. It's not so hard to actually find. Now, let's see. Let's go straight into this house. See what this is all about. Maybe we can get some monies right here. Okay, so let's see. If you put honey on the tree, check back later for it. If you see a tree rustling. If a tree is rustling, it might get my hopes up because there's a good chance there's a rare Pokemon. Okay. And uh, the flowers that grow on the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid than the flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind, okay, so that is that. 
Let's go back to the Valley Windworks because, uh, yes, we kind of need to take care of a little bit of business right there. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon right now, guys, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, so we did a little bit of healing. Now we're here back into the Valley Windworks, and we're going to take care of business because, yes, we got a key, and it's locked from inside. Would you like to use the works key? Yes, I do. Okay, so Kerchunk, it's in there. Okay, let's go and uh, take care of business right here. Okay. All right, who wants them? What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am a loser in, uh, in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever you say, homeboy. Okay. All right. Uh, to, let's see. We got a trainer right here. Let's go right ahead and just uh, have our way with these Pokemon trainers because we can. Okay. So here we have another Team Galactic member looking all... Uh, you know, alien-like and whatnot. Okay. So here we go, taking on another Galactic Grunt. And they're going to be coming out with a Cascoon. Man, this, has it ever occurred to you guys, okay? You Grunts to actually evolve these uh, Pokemon, you know, instead of using Harden all the time because, look, Harden is not going to work with Ember, okay? I'm just saying. It's, 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 it's nature. It's pretty much nature right there. And because of that, we grow to level 17, and my other Pokemon are growing levels. Team Galactic Grunt is no more. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Let's move on right here, and, uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and start battling everybody right here, because, you know, trust me, it's going to be it's going to be a long, 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 long adventure to actually get these Pokemon leveled up. So, here's Team Galactic Grunt, and, well, he's coming out with his Wurmple right here. Okay. Wurmple. How you doing? You're looking as Wurmple-y as Wurmple. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another Ember attack because we can. And, bam! Ember attack for the win! Yeah, buddy! Okay. Alrighty, and, well, let's see, he's about to use a Glam Meow. I got the Pokemon for this. Let's go. Let's go for a Mock Punch right here. And just like that, it defeats. Oh, come on, it defeats him. And, well, let's see. That's pretty much it right there. Look at that. He's he's not so happy. Now, it's a he or a she? I, I, they kind of look as. Oh, you know what? It's probably a he. Okay. So here we have the Galactic Commander. Let's go ahead and take care of business. Look at this. Uh, you can tell because of the color of hair. And look at this! Chibi Collector Galactic. Uh, Jupiter, Mars, I don't know, Sailor, Sailor, Sailor New Neptune, I don't know. I'm one of the Team Galactic Three Commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown a little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, if you win, you leave, or if I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Simple as that. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on another Pokemon right here, our trainer. And we are taking on Team Galactic Sailor Mars right here, and she will be coming out with a Zubat. Okay. All right, bring it. Just bring it. All right, Monferno ready to, uh, you know, do his... Uh, you know, he's a uh, Muay Thai kind of stuff, and, well, there we go, Ember Attack, hits it pretty hard, and here comes an Astonish Attack right here, so, chances are, this is gonna, this battle's gonna drag on just a tad bit, and, well, yeah, she thinks, yeah, okay, we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon right here, because there's no point in using it, Monferno, just in case, like, just for this situation right here, so, here we go, Electro Stars out, we are not able to actually lower its attack right there because of its uh, inner focus. So let's go straight for a Thundershock. And a Thundershock does the trick right there. Say goodbye to Zubat. Alrighty, alrighty, look at you. Okay, okay. So, that's another Pokemon down. And more levels to grow. And you know what? Ultra Cycle is one level away from evolving. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon straight to Infernomon. Let's go ahead and just destroy people. Let's go. Okay. Alrighty. So back with Infernomon, and we're taking on this uh, big ol' uh, furball. Quick attack, or mock punch. 
Fighting type is equivalent. How in that? Okay, really? Uh, you yeah, okay? You know what? You've asked for it. Let's go. What the hell? Come on! How are you faster than me? Oh god, I hate you. Bam! Hit it pretty hard. It's increasing my attack, and well, let's go straight for a mock punch. That's right, with a little bit of a power up, and oh, nearly defeats Perugly. And because of that, Perugly starting to eat its berry to heal up just a tad bit. Look at that, it is back with an orange berry, and well, he, this Pokemon's gonna scratch me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with the mock punch. Look at you, we're mock punching you. Destroyed. How's it feel to fail? Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, a nice group of our uh, Pokemon have grown levels. Look at that. Four Pokemon have grown levels. That's great. That's fantastic. Hydra, seven levels away from growing up. And, uh, well, we have defeated Commander Mars right here. And he's like, this this can't be! I lost. You, you annoying brat! Mm-hmm. Annoying brat. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I messed up this one. Uh, that, that's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. And just like that, they leave. Now, here we have a scientist. He's like, Team Galactic. They were saying that they, they uh, had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe or so they claimed. Nothing they said uh, made made any sense uh, sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. And, uh, well, look at this. A little daughter's coming in and she's like, Papa! Yuck, Papa! You're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. <laughs> kind of sounds like my niece. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again the balloon Pokemon oh yes a balloon Pokemon appears in front of the Valley Windworks it's it's always at a certain day of the week but I'm not sure which day could its appearance have something to do with the uh, Windworks using a wind generated energy probably now I think well the Pokemon is Drifloom I think or the pre-evolution and it comes out on a Friday and it would normally appear right here so we're going to have to wait on that Friday, or I'm just going to have to switch the days up or something like that. But because of uh, because we defeated Team Galactic, now it's Route 205 and on is, is now open for all of us. So we're going to pause the game right here, guys. It's been a pretty good one. And, uh, well, in the next one, we are going to be going up north to see what else we can actually find. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I am grateful for all the subscribers that you guys uh, have brought. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. See you guys.